What's up? Hey guys, it's Yvonne. In this video, I want to show you how to create a pop-up for your Unbounce landing page. So here we are in our Unbounce dashboard. I have my edit interface for the actual page we're going to edit, and I have my actual page open in a browser tab. This is for simplicity. I suggest you do the same when adding a pop-up. So the first thing you're going to do is click on pop-ups and sticky bars on the left-hand side of your dashboard. If you don't have any pop-ups yet or sticky bars, you will see a big button in the middle which says create new, just click that. In my case, I do have something, so I'm going to click on create new at the top right. So I'm going to click on that. And it's going to load a bunch of different templates. I can click around and see which one I like most. Um, Unbounce has done a great job of creating some good looking pop-up templates. If you don't like any of them, you can start from scratch. I'm going to go the simple route. I'm going to go with this template here um, and just pick a name for it. So I'll say, let's say exit pop-up. We want to do an exit pop-up for book campaign. Okay, let's just say that and I'll click enter. And now we have to do two things. One is we have to actually create the pop-up. And second of all, we have to add the code on the page we want to add the pop-up to. So let's start with the editing. I do have a more comprehensive video and series of videos showing you how to do certain things in this edit interface. Check them out above as I create my landing page from scratch. But in this case, I'm not gonna spend too much time on it and I'll just go through this quickly. So I'll say maybe something like don't leave, get your free ebook now instead. Okay, so something like that. I think this is lowercase. Um, over here we can say, this keeps moving. We can say um, enter your name and email below to get access to the seven online marketing tips, whatever, right? Uh, maybe if you want to center it, you can move it like that. Perfect. Um, add a picture here. Uh, this is a form element. So again, if you've seen my other videos on how to create a landing page and stuff like that, you should see how to do that. But if you want to add more drop downs or more options, more form fields, you can add them here, for example, gender, age, income. Or over here, if you wanna add a last name, a phone number, stuff like that, I'm gonna remove it for simplicity's sake. Um, I'm gonna change this to, for example, enter first name here, and I'll change this to enter email here, and I will click done, and that's what it looks like, okay? So our pop-up is pretty much done. Uh, if you want to change maybe the size of the font or the font itself of what it says there, when you click here, you can't do that. So what you can do is on the right-hand side here is your kind of editing panel. You can click here and change these options here, like font size, right? Make it bigger, make it smaller, change the spacing uh, between them and stuff like that. Play around with it, pretty straightforward. Again, not gonna spend too much time. Label attributes, um, that's for the word that comes above the form here. In our case, we have it hidden. As you can see here, hide label, so you don't see it, but if you unhide it, you will be able to this one if you unhide it you'll be able to for example see that name okay but basic stuff so that's pretty much it for this part um, we can also mobile optimize this pop-up check out my video on mobile optimization let me just click that out uh, to optimize this once you've optimized it you can go ahead and click on on and once you're happy with how your pop-up looks on both mobile and desktop go ahead and click save you can also preview it I'm not going to hit preview because we're gonna actually preview preview this on a live web page that we've created. So I'm not gonna spend time doing that, but I'm gonna go back to overview. And there is now one more thing we have to do. So we've created the pop-up. Now we have to put the code of this pop-up onto our site, right? So let's go from top to bottom. So what is the domain we want this pop-up to appear on? Well, it's gonna be this one. Now, just because you're adding a code to the site does not mean that you don't have to add a URL. You still have to, okay? and don't put the HTTPS, just put the www parts. This is especially useful if you are, for example, uh, if you're putting this pop-up on your WordPress page, right? And you have a bunch of different pa uh, pages, like a contact me page, about us page, my services page, and you want to put this pop-up on a specific page, you can go ahead and say, for example, URL that contains and say like my services, right? Or whatever that path is, uh, where you want the pop-up to show up. Now, in this case, we're adding it to unbalance, as I mentioned at the beginning. So I'm just gonna go with all URLs, okay? That part's fine. 
Now, here's the trigger. So when do you want the pop-up to show? Is it immediately when someone arrives? Is it after a certain number of seconds? Is it when someone tries to exit the page? Look around these, pretty straightforward. I'm gonna leave it at this, tries to exit the page because we're doing an exit pop-up. Frequency, how often do you want the pop-up to show up? Do you want it to be super annoying, i.e. get it in front of the customer every single time the customer loads your page, or just once per customer, or on a specific vis uh, time that the customer visits your uh, page? Stuff like that, again, play around with this, really straightforward, I'm not gonna dive into detail this, it's easy stuff. Um, and then that's it. Um, and we're going to copy this code here, go to this page. So here's the page, right? I'm going to go to JavaScripts, going to add new JavaScript, going to select header, and going to paste it here. I'm going to change the name so that I can reference this later on. So I'll say exit pop up, and I'll click save. And now, if I want to edit that, that uh, pop up, I can just simply click here. And it's going to give me the code only for that pop up, right? Really useful if you have a bunch of different code for a bunch of different services. Like over here, we have the code for smooth scrolling, right? This one, I think, uh, which I, again, I mentioned in one of my previous videos, check it out above for smooth scrolling. But that is it, okay? So now that we've done that, we can publish this page here. So we can click, uh, we can confirm that we've installed the code on the page and we can save the page here and publish this as well with the code. So let's go back here and make sure that this is published. Uh, okay, it's got a little check mark. So the pop up itself is good to go and ready. Now we have to make sure that this page has the code on it and it's updated. Okay, so give it a few seconds. I don't want to pause the video just to make it as live as possible and as real as possible. So there's like no big edits and stuff that you could, might be missing out. Uh, but that's it. Okay, so let's let's try it out. So let's refresh this page and let's see if it's there. It might, it might not be, and I'll tell you why it might not be. So that's great. So here's the pop up. Okay, so as you can see. If someone tries to, right, so blah, 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 oh, great testimony. Oh, you know what, boring website, I'm just gonna exit out. Boom, exit pop-up, okay? And it's only gonna show up once. So if I close out of that, I scroll down, nah, boring website, I'm gonna leave. It's not gonna show up again, only one time per website visit, okay? But again, if I refresh, it's gonna show up. Now, sometimes this might not show up immediately for you. In that case, you might want to open an incognito window or uh, a different browser that doesn't have cookies from this page on your browser so that um, you can test whether this pop-up works or not, okay? So in, in our case, it worked. If it doesn't, go ahead and open an incognito window of some browser and try it there. But that's pretty much it. That's what this looks like, okay? Again, one more time, I'm gonna try to exit. There's the pop-up, okay, great. Uh, and we can exit out, it's got a nice little X on it. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you will probably like my other Unbounce videos as I pretty much go through from scratch, I create a landing page from scratch, I integrate it with a custom domain, integrate it with get response to send out emails. Check those videos out. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.